What's going on, YouTube world? I am that dude named Dave, and I am back with the Box Now podcast with a reaction video today. But before I get started here, I need you guys to click on like, subscribe, and click on that bell notification below. Why? Let me just be honest. I'm a struggle streamer. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. It's a big goal, small goal, large goal, but you know what though? It is my goal. So I'm gonna give you guys a few seconds to do that. All right, that was a few seconds. I wasn't gonna long stroke you with that here. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to the video. Today, we're talking about Ryan Garcia, okay? He's made headways the last, you know, couple of years has been, he's been very polarizing, you know? But he did an interview with CompuBox TV on YouTube with Dan Cannabio, and he talked about a lot of things here. I took a clip of this interview because I wanted to focus on what I have been talking about for the past year when he was trying to do a fight with Tank Davis and he was actually on Mike Tyson's Hot Boxing podcast on YouTube. Great show. Great show. Can't wait for new episodes on that. Mike Tyson doing his thing there. But we really thought that Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis was going to fight. Then there was a situation where that he had opportunity to fight Manny Pacquiao. Now, if you watch any of our videos with my, me by myself or with my partner Jorge last year, I knew for a fact that fight was not happening. If anybody knows my takes about Manny Pacquiao, you are not getting that fight. And I always say that, yo, get it in writing. It's one of the reasons why you see my videos when I grilled Terrence Crawford about a Manny Pacquiao fight when he didn't get it. Because if we just see history, we knew it wasn't gonna go down, you know? But Ryan Garcia, 21 and 0. 18 KOs. His last win was against Luke Campbell last January in 2021 when he went down to the canvas for the first time in his career and he came back to knock him out in the seventh round. But like I said, he hasn't fought the whole year alone. Like they had those negotiations. Then he had to drop out of a fight due to mental health issues. Then he had surgery at the end of the year. So here he is now. He is scheduled for a comeback fight on April 9th against Emmanuel Tugu. And it is looking like he is the front runner if he wins this fight to fight for the undisputed lightweight title against George Cambosis, who is 20 and 0, who recently just defeated uh, Teofimo Lopez in November. Now, I know when I said undisputed because of WBC and the franchise champion, I get it. But that is the situation here with that, situ with, with that uh, belt situation. But enough of me talking here. Let's go ahead and get to the interview and see what Ryan Garcia is talking about here. The only thing I could re I could understand from the boxing fans when it comes to that is all the fights that I thought were going to happen, I said, mm -hmm. because I was naive because I was told a lot of things. Right. And I've learned that, and I won't announce a fight before it's actually Like Pacquiao? Done. Did you learn? Was that a learning lesson? That was a strong learning lesson. <laughs> I take full responsibility because I shouldn't have posted a fight poster uh, when it wasn't done yet. And I just wanted to see how fans would react. Obviously, it got over a million likes on the fighting poster. Yeah, that I reposted. Yeah, I fell for it. I reposted it. <laughs> hey, no, that's no. But the thing is, though, that fight was actually like was really trying to get made. Like I had, I FaceTime Manny Pacquiao. He wanted to do. Everyone wanted to do it. Yeah. I don't. It fell through because the guy that wanted to fund it was just a lunatic. Uh, he was literally. Let me stop here. Real fast. Yeah, Manny Pacquiao is going to be interested in fighting anybody. Let me just be honest here. Manny Pacquiao is a beast. Manny, Ca Manny Pacquiao is a killer. I have my criticism against Manny Pacquiao, but when I criticize Manny Pacquiao, it's only been about the business. And that's the one thing I hate about fighters is that they never educate themselves on the business. They hire people who they trust, and then the people who they trust tears their business the wrong way and so i used to be the type of person in the past when i was younger that would be like what is these fighters doing but realize that they have a small circle so they trust their business acumen but a lot of times the people around them don't even know the boxing business so you see in ryan saying you know how he talked to manny and all these things were happening we knew the fight was not happening if you understood boxing business and boxing history I said it a year ago wasn't happening. He made a poster that had a million likes. Jorge, we were both on the subject here. So let's continue here. Like, I think he's losing it a little. I'm not going to say names, but right. yeah, he, he had a lot of crazy ideas. We know who that name is. I'm sorry to stop it here, but it is Manny Pacquiao's uh, advisor, Michael Kantz. He's been a thorn in Manny Pacquiao's career for over 15 years. You know, Manny Pacquiao's let him go. He's brought him back. He's been a hanger on. This is 
full common knowledge that Freddie Roach has been public on TV wishing that Manny Pacquiao would fire him and many of the hanger-ons in his circle. So even though Ryan Garcia didn't say who it is, it's Michael Collins. But he just, he was going off the rails. Mm -hmm. uh, and he couldn't, he whatever he was saying, was it was a lie. So it wasn't going to get funded the way I thought it was. Right. And it, but uh, I take the full responsibility. I shouldn't have posted the fight poster. I was just excited. You know, I was still, yeah, I, I mean, I'm still young. So I was. I get it, Ryan. I did. Dude, you thought you were going to fight Manny Pacquiao. Like, I would have done the same thing. I was in negotiation. You know what, though? The way he's saying that, I get it. Like, as he gets older and he understands the business, he won't be so quick to pull the trigger on social media because one thing is he has like over 9 million uh, you know, followers on Instagram, over a million on YouTube. So he has seen this as an opportunity. He's like, I got Manny Pacquiao. Let me just scream this out to the world because this is a big time fight. Manny Pacquiao, the surefire Hall of Famer. And I was seeing this guy fight when I was a baby. I get this opportunity, I get it. So you know what though? I was hard on, I'm, I've been really hard on Ryan by him saying this here i get it he is still very young it's not right but i get it so you know what though ryan we're i see i see your point there chasing is to fight tank mm -hmm. but at the time when i got offered that i'm like oh my gosh this is amazing like i look up to this guy i like how he fights i think i know i could beat him like he's i i, I see shots i can land on manny pacquiao i can respect that like, confidence i should do this like oh my <laughs> This is crazy. Like, if I beat him, but this I respect will be it. a legendary moment. Like, I was so yeah. excited. Man. And probably more money than Tank, too. Way more money than Tank. And, you know, it's just more, it's so exciting because I really wanted it to happen and it didn't happen. Then when I tried to go back to the Tank fight, Tank said, fuck you. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I get it. I don't blame Tank for saying that. Let's be honest here. Let's go back. And matter of fact, people, if you go check out the Mike Tyson's YouTube show, I say go to it. It's a very, it, that episode was great. Ryan Garcia, I'm not even a big Ryan Garcia fan, but he was compelling. Mike Tyson you know, made him open up. They got on the cell phone and had Tank Davis on speakerphone. It was such big hype for two young fighters who are undefeated coming together. I was all ready for it. So when you publicly trying to promote a fight, then you go left field with another guy chasing waterfowl. Shout out to TLC. Then when Manny Pacquiao leaves you in the dust because we knew that fight wasn't happening, then you go back to Tank. I'd be like, yo, Tank, hey, if I'm Tank, I'm like, yo, forget you too, Ryan. Forget you too. You don't go public trying to do this with me. Then you go public with Manny and then come pu public to me. Nah. Doesn't work that way. I get it. So if you think about it, people, if you're Tank Davis, wouldn't you feel that way? Mm hmm. So let's continue. It, like I wasted uh, some time on you guys, but yeah, they weren't trying to make a real deal, to be honest. They were just kind of just testing out the water, seeing where we're at, seeing if they could get more on me. You know, they're supposedly a bigger star when they're mm -hmm. not. But, you know, OK, I got to stop it here. You can't make that comment, Ryan, because the fight wouldn't be made and you left the fight. You left the uh, whatever negotiation that was going to happen. You left in bad faith. So what do you expect that, you know, it's going to take time for us to, you know, the, for them to come back to the table eventually if they stay undefeated. But at that time being right now, you cannot make that comment. You created this dynamic. Oh, I don't want to deal with those problems. I, I know that I bring, you know, he could try to make a pay-per-view with somebody else and yeah. I guarantee it's not going to do well. The only what? thing that's going to do well is him and myself. I agree. So they will do day, well, but what are you saying? Come up with a great deal that works for both of us. And no, you're not a bigger the star than me. Do not say that. <laughs> so I'm probably more of a star than you, but you won't admit it. So I'll suck my ego up and say 50-50. That was going to say, I was like, would you? Now he's just talking, trying to build himself up here. Ryan, I, I will admit, like I said earlier, he is huge on social media. He has a big fan base. But when it comes to boxing, Tank Davis has been in the ring. Tank Davis has been active. Tank Davis has been on pay-per-view. Tank Davis is selling out in Atlanta. Tank Davis is almost selling out and putting high numbers in LA at Staples Center. Tank Davis has sold over 300,000 pay-per-view buys. Ryan, you're on the zone. You bring eyes, but you're on the zone. So you can say what you want to say. Tank does have numbers. Come on now, stop capping. I don't respect that here. Stop. I know, you, I know you're a boxer and you're trying to do, but stop capping.
Would you be in order to make the tank fight? Would you be willing to like, all right, you can come in the ring last, or you can get maybe a bigger yeah. split, uh, or you know, not uh, a huge difference? You could would you make that. concessions? Yeah, we could. I could do. I, look, at, if to make that fight, I would definitely, you know, on some stuff, suck it up and be like, oh shit, okay, all right, we'll give you that. I won't be like Maidana, not using the gloves I want. He won't make me do that. You can use that. no boxing in life. That's reasonable life. I will about use the gloves. No boxing in life. That type of stuff. No, he won't get on me. But uh, but the other do... stuff, the stuff that you that you need to make a fight. You know, the splits, the this, that, and the other. The, the, the yeah. you know the money stuff. Fifty fifty. Even though I should probably deserve a little bit more, but why? <laughs> uh, I will definitely take you know fifty fifty. That's probably the lowest I'll take. Well, he does that. great dates though. Facts. I don't care what he does. But that's great. something that they're gonna hold on. I have to stop that there. I don't care what that is. Nah, that's that is that is an emotional beta comment. Come on, guys. You don't want to own to the fact that Tank is a star. You've been chilling for a year. You could be post on social media, but what matters is people are coming to his fights. Come on, man. Gates matter. He generated millions. That's that's cap. Don't like that, Ryan. Sorry. Be respectful. We're gonna bring to you and show you, like they have tangible, yeah. you know, they numbers. Have, have a gate because when I fought my fights, I had all COVID capacities, mm -hmm. but I sold out every COVID capacity. We're gonna okay. see when I go to San Antonio how, right. how I hate to keep stopping here. Yeah, COVID capacities. Yeah, but uh, we're past. Co I wouldn't say we're past the thing. I don't want to say it out loud here because YouTube algorithm, you know. But, and also too, fair use for this video here as well. Yeah, he may, he, it's your fault for your inactivity. Some things for health you cannot, you know, we, it happens with fighters and athletes, but you just can't dismiss what he's doing and then try to big up what you're doing on a smaller scale. Nah, 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 man, don't work that way. Let's continue. At the gate or not, but I know that, you know, it's gonna do good. I mean, my fans go crazy. And I know that I've sold out every place that I could sell out. Anaheim's, mm -hmm. the Honda well, Center has sold out. Yeah, that's the one that I point to. Uh, the, that Valentine's Day one was like 10,000 on a Friday night. I mean, that was pretty damn good awesome. against, you yeah. know, relative. I will give you, uh, he does have fans. I'm no not trying name, to dog him on not, that. Uh, you weren't fighting like Tank Davis, but yeah, man, everyone wants to see that oh. fight. They want to see it happen. But, I mean, imagine if I fought Leo Santa Cruz, <laughs> I would do great numbers. Yeah. Like Leo East is known in the community where I live and you know but okay i'm gonna pause here i will i'll stop the the interview here it's a pretty long interview i think it's like over 40 minutes long so copy box tv check it out there uh with uh they're doing good they're doing good work there so shout out to them but i get ryan does have a base he does have a following you know social media does not lie on that standpoint you know and he, in the fights that he does have, does generate audiences for the opponents, which has been, you know, not caliber. But let's just be honest here. That was his biggest fight last January, Luke Campbell. And Luke Campbell dropped him. Now he got back up, all respect. But look at Tank Davis' resume the last three years. Say what you want about the PBC side and maybe the promotions. He's active, he's fighting. He's fighting top 10 guys in the division, whether at 130, 135, 140. The, the fans may not like it. We want to see him against uh, topper opponents, but at least, he's fight, at least he's fighting and fighting credible opponents. And the numbers don't lie about the gate, pay-per-view sales, et cetera. He did a pay-per-view during the pandemic in Atlanta that sold 300,000. So you cannot use that. You cannot use that. As, uh, as an excuse, Ryan, when you said that you sold out too. He sold out in the 300. These are facts here. Now, the last pay-per-view against Isaac Cruz, we I don't have those numbers. Wasn't released. Everybody says it was a little bit lower than that. But the fact is that he is on pay-per-view. You're on the zone. But one thing that's for sure, though, I will give him this, though. He's with Oscar De La Hoya. He aligned himself with him. And now he could be the undisputed lightweight champion in the world before the end of the year. And then... If and when him and Tank Davis does meet, it will be a big money fight. And I would believe it'll be, if he does become undisputed, then he could say a 50-50 fight then, you know? But Oscar De La Hoya, Floyd Mayweather. With all that money, 
Can we get those two to negotiate, even with Al Heyman in the middle? I don't know. But what do you guys think here? You know, what do you think about Ryan Garcia? What do you think if you check out this whole interview? And what do you think about what I said here? Do you think I'm way off base? Do you think I'm talking nonsense? I'm just some dumb boxing fan who don't know what he's talking about here? Yeah. But let me know. Click like, subscribe, click on that bell notification below, and let me know what you think. But until next time, I am that dude named Dave, and I'll be back.